Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. And that's Missy. I'm Renee. <laughs> and today I'm going to make a crock pot meal that I thought I'd bring you along. It's bratwurst and potatoes and sauerkraut and apple and it just, I think it's going to be a really nice dinner tonight. So I thought I would share it. I'm using venison bratwurst, but you can use any kind of, you know, bratwurst sausage that you want. So this is your first time here. My name is Renee. I like to do videos on canning and baking and cooking and vintage recipes and just life here at Pike Creek Farm, our little eight acres that we call Pike Creek Farm. So thank you so much for joining me. And I'm gonna bring you down and show you how we put this together. I love crock pot meals. They go together quickly. They cook hands-free and I can do other projects. I need to go work in my garden and do some other things. Let me bring you down and show you how we're gonna put this together really fast and all the ingredients. I have my crock pot here and the ingredients that we have are sauerkraut and I am using Bavarian kraut because it has caraway seeds in it. We have one apple that I'll slice. We have about a pound of potatoes. I might have like an extra potato there, but that's okay. I have one onion sliced up and I cut the slices in half. I didn't want huge ones. We have garlic. We have chicken broth, brown sugar. And we have the brats. So the first step is to put the sauerkraut on the bottom and it says to rinse it and drain it. But since I'm using this kind of sauerkraut, which has the caraway seeds and some sugar in it already, I'm not gonna drain it. It's not real. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty juicy. I'm gonna drain a little off. I drained the sauerkraut, but I'm not going to rinse it because I want the flavor that's in there because of the caraway seeds. It has cabbage, water, sugar, salt, caraway seed. It says one pound. These cans, it says one pound. These cans are 14 ounces, so I'm gonna put two in. I don't mind if there's extra sauerkraut in the bottom. So I'm gonna open up this other one and drain it. If you use regular sauerkraut that's pretty sour, you might wanna rinse it so it's not too strong. Okay, and that looks nice on the bottom there. Now the bratwurst, I'm going to slice them up into chunks and that will go on top next. So I'm just going to slice it up. Into chunks and spread that out. Okay, so they are all in there. Now I'm gonna put the onions on top. And it says one onion and I didn't even use a whole onion, but it's a pretty big onion. So I think I might not use all of it because I just have a layer on top and I don't want it to be too much. Next, we have one apple cored and sliced. So, and this will add a nice sweetness to it. That's all in there. Oh, nope, here's another, I've got one quarter. There we go. And now we're going to put these into chunks like that and push them down in between the bratwurst pieces, get them nestled in there. 
Here we go. I'm gonna sprinkle a few more onions on top. I like the flavor potatoes get from onions. Now we need two cloves of garlic. I'm just using garlic, as they like to call it. So I'm gonna put two spoons. And then it calls for two spoons of brown sugar. And now salt and pepper. So I'm going to give a nice sprinkle of pepper. I think that will balance nice with all the sweetness. And then salt. And then it calls for one cup of chicken broth. You could use any kind of broth. So I'm going to kind of go around the outside edge. And I didn't measure. I'm just sort of eyeballing. So that's all there is to this. Fingers crossed it's going to be okay because it's going to be dinner no matter what. Here's how it looks. And I have it on high for eight hours, but I will switch it over to low because it's six to eight hours on low. And I just like to give it a boost on the start and then I'll switch it over and it's 11 o'clock in the morning. If Jim's hungry then at four, it will be ready. Ooh, steam. Okay. Here it is ready to serve. Potatoes are soft. We don't like crunchy potatoes. And the apples kind of blended in with everything. There's an apple there. I did add two more bratwurst so that there's enough for sure for two nights. Um, and because it was, and because it was uh, venison sausage, I added a tablespoon of butter on top because the venison sausage is so lean. It needed some, a little bit of fat too for the potatoes. And, the tanginess of the sauerkraut is coming through. There's a sweetness, but it's still tangy. So I'm gonna serve some up, show you what it looks like. And here it is dished up. It was very good, but it did make a lot. I would cut back for just the two of us, but for family, it would be awesome. So I hope this gives you something different to try with your bratwurst and sausage, and I hope you enjoy it. I do have a playlist with all my crock pot recipes. So if you want more ideas to use your crock pot for, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.